and creature begins to hunt Jen down how the story goes we gonna start from the beginning of the movie sweetheart spoilers alert watch out and take care a woman named Jen Kirsty Clemens washes ashore on a deserted island when she recovers consciousness. She discovers a man that she knows named Brad Benedict Samuel also washed up nearby Brad has a large chunk of coral sticking out of his stomach Jen tries to treat Brad's wound but he dies from his injury before dying Brad asks did you see it Jan is alone on the island she pulls a flare gun off of Brad's life vest she investigates the small island and finds things left by a family previously stranded thereon. Jen discovers a small box of matches in their stuff after a storm at night she finds a number of dead fish washed up on the shore Jan also finds a mutilated dead shark amongst them with large gashes along its side as she wanders the island Jan comes across some graves of those stranded there before her Jen then buries Brad just along the shoreline she uses one of the matches to build a fire to cook some of the fish she recovered from the beach. The following morning Jen finds Brad's grave open and his body missing she realizes she must not be alone despite nobody else being on the small island Jen immediately makes herself a spear the following day Jen sees some of her luggage and other items floating just off the island she swims out to retrieve them and sees a gigantic hole in the bottom of the ocean just off the shore that night Jen hears a plane fly overhead. She shoots off a flare to no avail as the flare descends to the ocean Jen sees the silhouette of a creature Andrew Crawford walking out of the water and onto the sand Jan hears the creature making sounds as it walks nearby the foliage in which she hides this is clearly the thing that stole Brad's body the creature does not find Jen and retreats to the ocean the next day Jen tries to swim off the island by floating on her luggage and life vest but it is too unsteady. She discovers a hollow log to sleep in Jan is awakened at night by the creature attacking the law but it eventually loses interest and goes away when daylight returns Jen manages to kill a small shark with her spear she suspends it from the top of a tall tree and hides in a nearby hole she dug in the sand Jen falls asleep when she wakes up she sees that the creature has pulled the shark off the tree and presumably eaten it. The corpse of another person Jen knows floats ashore she ties the corpse to the top of the trees and again lies in wait this time she stays awake long enough to watch the creature emerge from the ocean it is enormous easily reaching the corpse suspended towards the top of a tree it is also clearly very strong although another plane flies overhead Jen cannot try to signal it with the creature on the shore it eats the corpse and returns to the ocean. Jen assembles a hammock near the top of some trees as far inland as she can she hopes the hammock will provide safety from the creature late that night the creature ventures inland it manages to find and knock down the hammock Jen flees for her life with the creature swimming just off the shore to keep up it jumps back ashore and Jen stabs it with her spear the creature knocks Jen aside and advances on her. However a thunderclap scares the beast and it flees back into the ocean the following day Jen sees a life raft floating just off the island on it are two more people she knows her boyfriend Lucas Emery Cohen and Brad's girlfriend MIA Hannah Mangan Lawrence they come ashore and embrace Jen urges them to flee the island on the raft as soon as possible she tells them about the monster having almost died while trapped at sea and thinking Jan is delusional. The other two refuse to leave it is established that the boat they all were all on together sank MIA and Jen discuss their experiences MIA says dying on the raft would be misery while Jen maintains that staying on the island is even worse when Lucas and MIA again refuse to leave Jen tries to depart on the raft by herself the other two catch her in the act and knock Jen unconscious Jen regains consciousness tied to a tree at night. She immediately begins rubbing the rope binding her against the trunk to fray it and free herself MIA talks about how Jan is untrustworthy due to incidents prior to the island and that she doesn't believe the creature exists Lucas tries to talk to Jen alone but the couple begin to argue it becomes apparent that the others on the boat were Lucas friends he brings up that Jan had a bad attitude on the boat and threatened to break up with him Lucas starts yelling about how. Jan has no place to live no money and no life without him he is indignant that given everything he does for her she would abandon him on the island Jan doesn't care about any of this and only demands to be let go the couple suddenly hears MIA screaming in the creature growling Lucas runs towards the screams and sees the creature attacking MIA he tries to fight it off with a torch but it smashes him away. Jen frees herself from her restraints and runs to the shore just in time to see MIA dragged into the sea by the creature the next morning Jen convinces Lucas to flee on the raft with her the couple lights a fire using the last match and cooks all the fish they have left they load up the raft and set off the raft is attacked by the creature although they shoot their flares at it the creature pierces the bottom of the raft and drags Jen into the water we get our first good look at it. 
revealing that the creature is a kind of shark man clawed arms and legs similar to a human but a head in fins like a shark as it drags Jen towards its hole in the ocean floor Jen stabs it with a pocket knife and it releases her Lucas jumps in to try and help but is attacked by the creature as Jen watches helplessly on it grabs Lucas and drags him into its hole Jen swims back to the island where she finds the ruined raft beached on the sand and saves the fire from going out. Knowing she has no other choice Jan begins preparing to fight the creature she makes multiple spears and sets a bunch of fires she then writes a letter detailing her time on the island in case she does not survive noting that people have had a problem believing her for her entire life but that they must believe her about this that night the creature emerges once again Jen surrounds it with fire and stabs it several times. It eventually smashes her knocking the wind out of her she recovers just in time and continues beating it with branches and rocks or stabbing it with her knife the creature lands a few blows but nothing fatal finally the creature collapses from its wounds and Jen impales it on a spear Jen decapitates the creature so she has proof of her tail the camera pulls out to show one third of the island on fire from the battle. Jen stands victorious on the shore but still lacking any means of escape. This brings us to the end of the movie, I hope you do like it. And please do like and subscribe to this channel, turn on notifications icon for more videos like this, as we going to be bringing you more of your favorite movies. Thanks for watching and see you soon.